Hey guys, it's Gracie. Today I'm back with another YouTube video. Today I'm in a weird location. I have some things in front of me. Because today I'm going to be making something. A big photo collage. I got this idea from Alicia Marie. She did a video maybe like two years ago that I watched. And ever since then I really liked the idea. She took pictures from a magazine. But you could honestly just get a frame and just make a collage out of like any photos you would like. But I'm going to do photos like of me and my friends that I went and got developed. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to need some photos printed out. Um, I take pictures from my friends, but you can get pictures from the internet, from a magazine or whatever. Scissors, tape, or Mod Podge. We have Mod Podge, but I can't find it, so if I can find that, I'll use that too. But tape, scissors, and then you'll need a frame. But you do not have to have it this big. I just have a big because it's going over my bed, so yeah. Just take my picture frame and literally just take off the wrapper, which um, I'm gonna use some scissors for that. And we're gonna take off some of the green stuff. Okay, the frame was like just from Walmart, it's not anything fancy. You don't have to have anything fancy unless you want something fancy. Just depends what you're trying to do. Okay, actually gonna save this like big advertisement photo thing, and I'm going to just attach the photos to the back of this. So if I ever want to redo it, I can just get a new um, paper or put something else in it so I can, I'm not gonna tape anything to the actual glass. So I'm just gonna use this, so I'm gonna keep this to the side. Um, take, and then you're gonna have this, mine's, um, what is it, plexiglass, so it's not actual glass, but I'm gonna take some Windex and wash this off. So I'm just wiping this off with some Windex. So now it's all clean, sort of. Next, you are going to just like lay out your photos, so just put them like that and just organize them however you want on your paper. I just, once again, use the paper that they had on the frame for an example, so you can use that or whatever else you want to use. Also, for a lot of these, I'm trimming down so I can like make them kind of together kind of thing. Like access points above our heads that we don't actually need, I'm just cropping off. Looks better and uh, makes more room for actual photos, so yeah. Okay, so so far this is what I got. A lot of these photos were like, I wanted to crop out some things and take out some things and put things over. So you really gotta keep working with it because like as you can see, I don't just have like photos lined up because I wanted to add some shape and dimension and stuff. So I, this is what I have so far. I actually have a lot of pictures and I didn't think I was gonna actually fill it up. But then I see it, I'm like, wow, the pictures are big. So good thing I'm gonna fill it up, yeah. This. This is what the finished product turned out to be. I overlapped a lot of photos and I actually trimmed down a lot. So I'm, I'm just gonna make sure I tape down. I'm not gonna make sure there's any white. But I trimmed down a bunch of the photos so I could just get like the important photos. So like, I put like a, like everybody in here. This looks kinda cool. No, don't. My mom told me to put her in, or, or told, tell, t my mom told me to give her credits cause um, she gave me the idea of trimming the non-important stuff which I didn't do at the beginning so thank you mom so instead of the tape I realized because like the tape when I rolled it up it's gonna like push push up and kind of thing I instead of that I just got Mod Podge so I can just smooth it down and it'll get smooth and if I have extra I'll Mod Podge over it to make it look shinier but if I don't have extra no big deal I could just use it for the bottom and you're gonna take the back of your photo and you're just gonna lay it, coat it with Mod Podge. You don't have to put too much on there though. Just a little bit will do. Because you're gonna be doing a lot of photos, so don't coat it too much. Then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna turn around and stick it where you want it. 
and then there. It's in the red. So I got everything modged, podged down, and this is what it looks like. I let it dry for like an hour, but honestly, it doesn't White take that. White people. It honestly doesn't take that long to dry. So now, just put it in yeah. your frame. Snapping the back of it now, which is kind of hard. Are you hard. kidding me? It doesn't include this one. And then yeah, I'm just snapping these down. Everyone's different, but I'm just snapping them. And this is what it looks like in the frame. Please like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment. And